It starts with a dream. Imagine a film that captures every instant, and for each frame, a memory. Stories that shine in the midst of you. Mysteriously changing from one thing to another. And when I joined this trip, I think that India will be different of the, the things that we know about India in Brazil. There's a lot of places you, you hear something and you get what you imagine. Here, I read a lot about it. I knew, I think, some about it, but still every day there was a new surprise. Oh my god, the, the experience of just being there. And the water splashing on you. Coming to Kerala, you can see everything <laughs> within two weeks and this is uh, like very hard to find anywhere else in this part of uh, Asia. If you ask me just one word to describe this trip, I would say unforgettable. The most memorable smile would probably be the kids at the high school. I found that so special. The way they interacted with us, the way they smiled at us, the way they showed us who they are and, and they showed us that we belong with them even though we come from miles apart. The way they interacted, just that pure innocence, that pure uh, warmth and hospitality, I just love that. That's probably my, one of my favorite moments ever. The mud football. To be honest, at the beginning I was like, yeah, this is pretty easy, I can also do that. Even I remember I was telling the other guys, oh, these guys are not so good. I'm pretty, be I'm way better, I will play. Uh, well, uh, that's like... A physical torture that game <laughs> it's extremely hard uh, it's extremely fun it's so fun just to be there uh, at the beginning I was also like a little bit careful like oh I don't want to get dirty I don't want to do that and I think at some point I just jump into the mud and I just basically dip my whole body into the mud that was a little bit crazy which kind of green really touched my heart here in Kerala Mumna, Muna was amazing. From this moment, how can it be? Was really like breathtaking landscapes. It's it's amazing. Like all shades of green and even with the mist and it was amazing. Oh, beautiful place, really amazing. How can it feel this wrong? How can it feel? How can it feel? How can it feel? How can it feel? Astonishing.
watching mesmerizing the rain <laughs> We're here in the monsoon. It has rained a lot, especially when we were up in Wayanad. And I am a person that loves the rain. I, <laughs> when it rains, I just like to get out and be in it. So I have had a lot of fun just getting outside and soaking up all this lush jungle energy and rolling around and spinning around and just savoring all that rainy weather. It has been unexpectedly amazing for me. Well, the day we spent on the houseboat is one I never forget. It was amazing and priceless. Tantofitos. I can't jump high, but I hear all the notes. I can't be you now. I can't be you. Houseboats, the backwaters was really amazing. The view keeps changing, which is amazing. We had a lot of conversations about sari, about the sari wearing, and that experience for me was definitely my highlight. So I met a young girl called Nandana and she's 16 years old, she wants to be a dialysis doctor and she had never draped uh, a sari on anyone before so this was her first time, I think we did the Nivi drape and she was, I went to actually put it on myself and she came over and she was like no 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 you're doing it all wrong and then she had a go at it and uh, it was just such a, a nice connecting moment for both of us because we were both laughing so I'm just standing there and just feeling so grateful that I got to put on a sari because it really does bring out your true inner beauty. And uh, being my last day, I'm getting a bit emotional about it. It's been two weeks, but it felt like uh, 
longer journey.